Let's take a look at the planet Mars and one of its moons, Phobos. Phobos has been orbiting around Mars for quite some time, probably four billion years or so, and we want to find a little bit more about what's going on and how it's staying in this motion. So we do know for a couple things in our knowns and unknowns, we can measure its period. It's period T 27,550 seconds. We can also measure the orbital radius. When we say the orbital radius, since we can have an actual radius to Phobos, the orbital radius is this r. This is the distance between the center of Mars and the center of Phobos. And this r is 9.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. What we want to know to answer is, what is the acceleration needed to keep Phobos moving around Mars in this way? So as we look at our organized step, we can call this uniform circular motion. If it's uniform circular motion, then we get the relationship omega equals 2 pi over the period. So as long as we're in uniform circular motion, we have that. We also know that in order to move in a circle, we found a centripetal acceleration. Where we said that AR was equal to B squared over R equal to R omega squared. We're not going to worry about signs just yet, not until a few chapters later. So if we look over here, we have AR as one of our unknowns. We know R, the radius. We can call it, right, capital R, lowercase r. We don't know omega, but this equation gives us a way to learn omega using t. So we're going to start there. So we have omega is equal to 2 pi divided by 27,550 seconds. And that gives us an omega of 2.28 times 10 to the negative 4 radians per second. Now that we have this, we can use our a sub r equation. And we don't have to use this part at all. We can just use r times omega squared. So now we can plug in our r, 9.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. And now we can plug in our omega. 2.28 times 10 to the negative 4 radian per second 20 squared. And sorry, uh, now we can then go about solving this. So if you want to, you can then take a look and through your calculator, try to calculate it. But we've already right cooked it up a little bit. So we have then 0.488. Meters per second squared, roughly one twentieth of the gravity the you experience on the Earth is what is pulling Phobos around Mars. So, with circular motion, we have a few new relationships. We have relations for uniform circular motion. This centripetal acceleration holds at all times, and we just need to then go finding about how we can get the relationships that we need in order to find answers like this.